and welcome back. So today's the day you have all been waiting for and that is the up close and personal look at my figure collection because I haven't done all of my figures on this channel. I had some before. A lot of them had some issues with um, filming. So here we have an up close and personal look at all of them except three. <laughs> So the reason for those three are two just came and they have their own videos coming up soon. And then one is the one that is too spicy for YouTube. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. Here we have Mika Zuki from Token Rambu, the awakened version. And oh my God, is this figure absolutely beautiful. Just look at all of the sculpted details, such as the crosshatch in his outfit and all of the accessories that come with it. On top of that, I love, love, love the shiny paint that comes on his outfit and the tassels. Overall, I think he'd be great in pretty much anyone's collection. I have him with Conda and Alan and he just looks so cool and fits right in with my boys. Next, we have another Token Rambu boy. We have Huga, and if you've seen my channel before, you've probably seen him. I just think this Nendoroid is way too darn cute. Look at that smiling face. It was way too hard to turn down, and I'm glad I didn't. Just, he looks so cute. Oh, I love him so much. Here we have my first real figure in my anime collection, and that is Lavi from D. Gray Man. This is such a cool figure. Just look at his pose. He's super lightweight, so he doesn't really lean or anything, even though he doesn't have much support. The colors are wonderful. His scarf is super cool, and this is the top figure in my collection. Easy. Of course, it wouldn't be D. Gray Man if we didn't have Alan Walker in here, though. This figure is so cool, and I really wish Anaplex could keep up with this quality. I see no paint flaws with it. The sculpt is phenomenal. I think Anaplex blew it out of the park with these, and I wish they would keep that up. 10 out of 10 figure right here. And then I had Lavi and Alan, so of course I had to get Conda. I think he has the best sculpted hair out of the trio, and I love the movement of his jacket. While he is more relatively simple than the other two, I still think this figure is gorgeous. I picked him up for a steal and oh, he is phenomenal. I'm so glad I picked him up and the people who don't like him need to shush. Here we have one of the first figures I unboxed on this channel and originally you can see in that video I was a little disappointed with him but I am so happy to say that the more I look at him the more I love him. He's just such a statement piece and Aplex once again did wonderful with the sculpt. Not super great on the paint a lot of the times and it does have some issues but he is still beautiful and takes my breath away. One of my favorites. I don't get many prize figures, but this line of Twisted Wonderland prize figures was too cute to turn up, and I'm honestly a little impressed with the quality. I have no paint issues, and he even has some shading on the top of his hair, and he sits on his own. It's pretty cute for the price. Here we have the Riddle Rose Hearts Nendoroid, which also showed up in a previous video, and this is his red face. He's still super cute. I'm really excited to make my doll for him, and spoiler alert, tonight I just got his Nendoroid doll body from Ami Ami Pre-Owned, and I'm so excited to make a little doll of him. He's going to be so precious, and I'm excited. This one I've never gotten to share before. This is the Riddle Rose Hearts lookup, and he's really cute, very simple, so I kept this really short. I enjoy having him. He sits on one of my Funko Pop boxes, and cute. If you watched the video with the Riddle Nendroid, you saw this, and Malleus is a little bit of a pain. It took me forever to film this because he just kept falling apart, but I did get him into a good spot, and when he's standing still, he looks wonderful. As long as I don't need to prop him up again, he looks great and I enjoy him. Putting him together and switching everything up, absolutely awful, but he's still pretty. 
here's the Maithos Cheshire Cat, and I think this is one of the coolest figures in my collection. She's on the same shelf with Riddle right now, and the two of them honestly just steal all of your attention because they look so good together, and her outfit is so cool, and her hair, and the base. She is just a gorgeous figure, and Maithos hit it out of the park with this one. I wish all their figures looked this detailed. Here we have Strength from Black Rock Shitter, the animation version. For a 10 year old figure, this looks phenomenal. She does have her arms fall off a little bit when she's being handled, so I have to be a little careful. But the paint looks wonderful, the sculpt is great, and she doesn't look like a 10 year old figure at all in my opinion. She held up very well over time. The Artifacts JCL is really nice and I love the base. It's honestly my favorite CL figure. I know people really like the Anaplex one, but I think that one looks a little weird with the sculpt and paint. But this one I love, and unfortunately I lost his little chest piece, but he's still really cute and I love posing him and Sebastian together. And here we have Sebastian, also from Artifacts J, of course, and I like him a lot, but I do have more issues with him. For example, his little plate loves to fall off, and if you saw my unboxing video, I was getting so mad at it, and I might just pick up some museum putty at the moment. I just display it with it sitting on his base, but he does look cooler with it in his hand, and I think they really should have put a pick there but that's okay, I can find a way around it and he'll be better. This good smell Himari Takakura slash Princess of the Crystal figure is super cool and was one of my first grails really. I love how her skirt comes off and I don't really display her without the skirt, but it's such a cool option to have and I love that they added it because of how it flies off in the anime. I love the shine of her corset and the little ruffles on her butt are so cute and I never get to see them so I'm glad I got to film this for you all. She looks elegant and she's super delicate with all of the little details on her outfit. I love this figure. She's super cool but huge. <laughs> For all the hype that Alter gets, I thought this Mikaze eye figure would be a little better. I find his vest to be really flatly painted. I wish it was sculpted. His hair does look nice, which everyone compliments for Alter. He's still really pretty and I plan to collect the rest, but I was a little disappointed with him. Here we have my Demon Slayer prize figure that I won from an arcade and I was very proud of myself because I suck at arcade games. And honestly, I was pretty impressed by it. I don't remember who made it, but they did pretty well. Here we have Okita Soji from Hakuoki, and honestly, I'm a little torn on this Nendoroid. I really like the shading of his hair, and I think it's probably some of the best shading on Nendoroid hair, but the seam is so obvious that it kind of ruins it for me. I wish they hit it just a little better. I do like his face plates and his accessories though, and he's not the worst. He is a best boy, so he does kind of automatically get a pass, and he is really cute, so I'm glad I have him though. And here we have these fuckers. Ha! Ah, they were such a pain to put together. There is some really bad paint transfer on the back of Shane Leon's outfit, but you don't really get to see it, and that's really nice because they are really cute. So I don't think I'm going to be picking up any more of the Heaven Officials Blessing minifigures, which is a shame because look at them. <laughs> Last but not least, we have 2B and she still looks amazing. I love all of the little details on her skirt. I think they did such a fantastic job sculpting her. And you have to do a good job sculpting her because of all of the black and it's not going to show up and have that same effect if you don't have a good sculpt and good paint, but especially a good sculpt in my opinion. They did wonderful with her and I am so glad I was able to pick her up because I didn't pre-order her originally and thankfully someone canceled and 9S is going to be here soon to join her, so yay! So welcome back! 
what did you all think? Do you have some figures that you like in my collection? Some of my personal favorites are Lavi, Alan and Kanda, of course, Riddle, even though he's got a few issues, and I think if I had to choose a girl to go in my tops, it'd be the My Ethos Cheshire Cat. She's just so cool, <laughs> honestly, and especially when I put her with Riddle. Mm, so beautiful. And I do have a figure coming up that I think probably would go in one of those top spots. I wonder if you guys have seen her in the back, but I think I'm covering her for the most part. <laughs> so you'll have to just come back and see. It'll be in one of my grail videos. Yay, I picked up a grail. And hopefully you'll enjoy that video. But for now, thank you all so much for tuning in. It was wonderful as always to get and chat with you guys and thank you so much for watching.